Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Kevin here. We're at Avis at Toronto Pearson Airport. And let's take a look at some of the cars they have available for rent. Just a quick reminder, go ahead and click that subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, give the video a quick like. If you want to see more of these, thanks to all my uh, existing subscribers. Just past 900, well on the way to 1,000. And uh, while we're taking a look at this wagon here, let's just, I uh, just want to do a quick shout out to uh, Bradley's Car Reviews. He can let us know if this is the one he had. I'm not sure, he might still be driving it. Uh, but let's just see if it's not locked. Not sure if some of these might have different trim levels. Some of them have the screens in the back. I don't think this one does. And this one is open. I'm guessing they're probably all fairly similar, the trim. Uh, if you want to see more details, oh yeah, this is kind of cool, the Wagoneer on the side here. Uh, just, just for my, one of my videos of the Wagoneer on the thumbnail for Avis. And I kind of did a quick tour of it. Got BMW X1, a couple of them here. Mustang convertible. Audi Q3, another Mustang convertible. Got a Jeep Wrangler, and then a bunch more Mustangs here. Looks like we got uh, two convertibles and a hard top. All of these are the EcoBoost. And over in the preferred upgrades, got another Mustang convertible, got a Jeep Wrangler. And got a Hyundai Compact SUV, an Audi Q3. And a Vita, okay, so this I'm pretty sure is the Jetta. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just looking at the smaller wheelbase on that. Price of 300. Mustang convertible, we got a Mazda, maybe a CX-5, judging by the size of that. Uh, Hyundai Compact SUV, we got a newer Nissan Murano. All right, sorry about that, guys. Let's pick things up at Avis here. I was just uh, helping somebody out with a Kona, trying to get uh, CarPlay working. I think it might have been wireless CarPlay. It took us a couple minutes to get it sorted. But I just noticed this... this um, Dodge Ram pickup truck has some kind of split tailgate. I don't know if that's uh so it's a big horn. I don't know if I ever saw that. Yeah, so Dodge has some cool look at this, it's got that rail thing in here too. You guys probably know more about that. And I think some of the Dodges, don't they? Oh, I think it's got maybe a power outlet. I think some yeah, it does have the step. I was gonna say, I think some of these have the step too. So I'm gonna kind of point that out. Let's just uh maybe this is worth taking a look at. It's got nice wheels on it. I wonder if this is a higher trim. It's got the Hemi in it. Big horn. Like the red color. Looks nice. And I don't know if it's going to be locked or not. I think it looks open. Let's, yeah, it's open. Let's take a quick uh, peek inside. And the big horn. This, I'm guessing this, oh, it's sunroof area. I'm guessing this higher trim here, that or it's fully loaded. Ooh, look at this, it's got the shifter. Fairly new, 4,000 kilometers on it. Looks like it might have upgraded audio. And in the back, there's the bed again. Tons of room in the back. All right, that's definitely a big pickup truck. Oh, it looks like that might be, I think those are the sport ones over there. We got BMW X1 here, we got an old Nis Nissan Murano. Uh, got another Dodge Challenger here. Hyundai Santa Fe, we got a Minivan, got another Hyundai, a GMC, Santa Fe, somebody coming through with an Audi Q3, uh, got a Mazda SUV, Mitsubishi, Cadillac, probably an X-T4, we got an Explorer here, got a Ford Escape, another Explorer, Chrysler 300, older Nissan Rogue, we got uh, another Dodge Ram pickup truck, I think those are the sport ones with the blackout trim. Mazda, Mitsubishi, another Dodge Ram Black. Oh, I like that all blacked out. That's nice. Got a Yukon. And let's go to some of the other SUVs here. Here, here we got the Denali's down at the end. And we got a Ford Explorer. Looks like a Limited with the big wheels on it. Got another Tahoe. Oh boy, they got all the big ones down here. Denali, GMC, Mojave Jeep with the big wheels on it. Oh, this is the Gladiator, right. And we got a, so there's the regular Gladiator, and then we got the Mojave. I'd probably take the Mojave, that just looks really cool. Uh, got a Tacoma, 
We've got a Dodge Ram. That one's got the e-torque motor in it. Another Rubicon. Suburban. We got another. And we got another Dodge Ram down. Okay, we're just gonna continue on. We got a Kia, a VW, Port Escape, another Gladiator. Oh, we got a soft top Wrangler coming up here. Those are pretty rare. If you can get a hold of one of those, it'd be fun. VW, you know, this might actually be the Passat. It's a little bit bigger wheelbase. Toyota 4Runner. Chevy Equinox, Chrysler 300. Yeah, we got a Cherokee down at the end. BMW, probably an X3 beside that Suburban. Yeah, what do we got? We got uh, a couple of compact SUVs. We got a Camry. Yeah, looks like we got a little bit of a line to get out of Avis here. Let's just take a look. I think this is where they park some of the budget cars down here at the end. So we'll just kind of quickly go through here. We got uh, Hyundai Elantra. Uh, maybe a Sentra, Nissan Sentra. I don't think that's an Ultima. Could be. We got a Toyota. Maybe a RAV4. We got a Ford Escape. Oh boy, it's been a long day. I'm starting to forget car names, guys. Forgive me. <laughs> got a Chevy Equinox. Grand Cherokee here, Toyota Prius, and Nissan Rogue, a couple Mitsubishi SUVs here, if we pan around to the other side, this side's definitely budget over here, and Avis budget all the same fleet, we got a Pathfinder, older Pathfinder, uh, we got some, we got a Hyundai Kona, we got a Kia here, Grand Cherokee, Hyundai Elantra, blacked out wheels. BMW 3 Series, looks like another Pathfinder here. Yeah, got a Nissan, Chevy Equinox, another 300, Santa Fe. And we got a Camry. Looks like we got an Ultima and a Cadillac down there, so it's a bit of a queue to get out. But you know, it's busy peak summer travel season. So I think that's going to wrap things up, guys. Thanks for watching. Just a quick reminder, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, if you want to see more of these videos, give it a quick like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.